This is a series of videos on Sea and Spray Select. It is designed for existing customers and new customers to Sea and Spray to educate on how to set the system up, what the components of the system are, and how to get the most in terms of efficiency and productivity out of your machine. The John Deere system collects data in two separate ways. So what we have live in the paddock while we're targeted spraying, you're getting a coverage map that's showing you where you have and haven't sprayed. You can think of that coverage map as like a weed map because, because we only spray the weeds in the paddock, it's showing you where your weeds are. You will, will also in the cab, um, in our totals app, see how many uh, acres or hectares you've been over, as well as how many of those hectares you've actually sprayed. So you may have covered 100 hectares, but only sprayed 25. So the other data we are collecting from the machine comes from mobile weather. So when we have a mobile weather system mounted on the machine, we are collecting live weather data across the paddock. So that is wind, wind speed, wind direction, temperature, delta T, all factors critical when we're spraying. So that is live in the cab and there's also data log behind the scenes. So if you do need that information in the future, it's there able to be collected. So the second thing we can think of with data with the Sea and Spray Select system is what goes back to the op centre. So everything you collect live and you can see live in the machine then goes back to the op centre. So when you log on, and go into that paddock, you will see that coverage map that shows where you have and haven't sprayed across the paddock. You'll also um, see those figures that will tell you how many litres of chemical that you should have used in that paddock, how much you've saved. So with that data in the op centre, it can also be uh, shared as a report to a third party such as an agronomist or your accountant or a farm advisor.